Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo LOQ15i Gamer Gen 9 version. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory if you need to replace or upgrade it. I'll also let you guys know the RAM specs if you need that as well. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom, one on either side near the middle, and then these four up top for a total of 10 screws. After you get those screws out, you're going to take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools will tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones will. And I would recommend starting in, in the back corners here. Uh, you're going to pop it open. You're going to go around this seam, pop the bo uh, bottom case up from the computer. Then you're going to go down each side, and then you're going to finish up on this edge. This edge is the hardest to get off. So I would go from the back to the front on this computer. After you've taken your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm opening a computer, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have all those tools and replacement parts for the LOQ15i. Now before I do anything in a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safe to work on the computer with as little power as possible running through it. The battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as you can see in your computer, there's a small grip on either side of that black plug. So you can use your fingernails or a pry tool and you can go one side at a time and pry that out from that plug. As with any computer plugs, you want to avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible. You want to just manipulate that plug or whenever possible. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your RAM is right here under this metal plate. After getting that metal plate up, you can see some thermal pads here to help with heat, but it's gonna reveal two different RAM ports right here. The way you work RAM is it's held in by two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. The way to get the RAM stick out is to gently pry those apart from each other away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will then release. It will oftentimes pop up a little bit and then you can slide it out of, of the port right here. To get the RAM back in, if you notice there's a long end and a short end. So you can't put the RAM in upside down. You can only get it in the correct way. Once you get it in, make sure it's nice and flush and even and then you press down in the center and these metal arms will latch onto it and secure it in place. Now to shut out the RAM specs here, this computer has a max of 32 gigabytes RAM, which means to max it out, you would need a 16 gigabyte stick in each port to get your max RAM. Uh, this is DDR5, 4800 megahertz, uh, 5600 megahertz in dual channel mode. So the RAM stick that was in here was PC5 5600B. I will have that information below in the description. I'll also put some RAM upgrade options below in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts and tools. And I do tell people very often in a computer, um, if you're limited on budget on upgrading it, RAM is one of the cheapest and easiest things to upgrade and it's a big player in the speed of your computer. So if nothing else, I always recommend at least maxing out the RAM in your computer for best performance. But that's how you would access your memory in this LOQ 15i. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right-hand side, you'll see the Super Thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your Cash App. 
Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.